Wilbur is part of your history. We don't know. Yes, she went and got her. Well, she got her. She was the earliest PhD in the world at age 20. She did her thesis on Virginia Woolf, which was the early feminist and met her. She came back to the United States and was a, a photojournalist covering World War World War II. She covered the. Yes, yeah, so, go ahead. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I want to jump Celia. in here. I'm Celia. 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 Yes, my uh, yes, yes. My, my, my favorite step part of this. But, uh, <laughs> yes, but, but no, but I'm, I want to tell the story of how you got to Alaska. And then, and so, so what my mother did was when she got back to, to, to Brooklyn, she couldn't get a job. Yeah, I'm going to say it really loudly so you can correct me. <laughs> but she couldn't get a job. The, the depression. The depression, right. <laughs> and and she, she finally sold one article on Brooklyn to the New York Times, which was very exciting, that we looked for today but couldn't find. Sorry, everybody. But but then she went to do some translations for Stephenson. Yes. And, and and then she got she was then she got a grant to study women under communism, fascism, and socialism, and democracy, no, no, sorry, sorry, socialism, democracy, and communism. So she was going to go to the Soviet Arctic, and she got a letter of introduction to, what is, no, but he gave you the letter of introduction to the, to Schmidt, who was, nobody, no reporter could get an interview with him. And my mother got one, and and the and she talked to the person from the Herald Tribune, in I guess in Moscow, who said you scooped the world. That was your first world scoop. Come on. And anyway, she got so she got to the Soviet Arctic and Siberia. The and first journalist in the world. Well, I, was, were you the first journalist in the world who got there? Probably among them, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you get the word that says I read this. Okay, 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 I'll take Meryl's word yeah. for it. You know, <laughs> definitely the first woman. Yep. And and she saw women, you know, they're they're you know under the under under the Soviet system, there were women who were the the woman. There was a woman mayor. There were you know women were really running this town in Siberia. And my mother wrote a book about it, which impressed Harold Ickes, who was the Secretary of the Interior under um, Franklin Roosevelt. So my mother actually went down to interview him for the Herald Tribune, and the end of the interview, she had a job. <laughs> <laughs> right? You you went to interview Harold Ickes, the end of the interview you had a job, right? <laughs> he decided to send her up to Alaska to um to to just see what, what it was like to live there. Would you mom what how would you describe your your role? Can you hear my mother? It's probably you say. Yeah. So, but she she was asked to go. Um, oh, thank you. She was asked to. to she, Harold Ickes decided to send her to really see if, if they could send to open up Alaska to have people move up there to see because it was an open territory. And I think a lot of people felt he was making a mistake. Right? People didn't think he should he should care so much about Alaska. Alaska had been referred to as Seward's Folly. When, when the, the a previous Secretary of State bought Alaska. So, so Harold Ickes wanted to make something of it, sent my mother up there, and, uh, and I think you had a lot of fun flying around and meeting all the, the people stationed in the Army there. And actually, my daughter and I got to go last year because there, my, there was an, an ICP show of my mother's photographs a few years ago that went to Anchorage last fall. So we got to see we got to see some of what you saw, Mom, and it was just wonderful. And then, and then, let's see. So then, after after Alaska, you still worked for the State Department. Also, there's there's quite a funny story because in the McCarthy era, even, well before the McCarthy era, but in the area era where people were accused of being communists and you know, the, and and the, all the undermining spin that we see now in Washington, they had then. Um, and then, and they, they said, I know, I'm horrified too. And they said, <laughs> and, and there was, and, and one of the senators, one senator wanted to stop paying my mother when she was on her way to, to Alaska. Um, because she, they said she wrote this book, she's a communist, you know, get her, you know. And really, and then the, the, 
the head of the um, <laughs> the head the head the, the head the Republican head actually of the of the Herald Tribune, Helen Reed, who was my godmother and my mother's really mentor and supporter. Uh, said, don't worry, they're not trying to get you, they're trying to use you to undermine Harold Eckes, which is again something we may see a little bit in Washington now. But anyway, um, so they, they were going to deny her pay, the, the Senate was trying to deny her pay. When when Senator Bullwinkle, Senator Bullwinkle, I think, Bull? I, I, think, it up. Bullwinkle. I think maybe maybe the people who did the Rocky and Bullwinkle comics knew him and decided to <laughs> immortalize him oh, later. He, he did wear the Rocky Right, he wore yeah, that one, so maybe, yeah, maybe yeah, it was a relative yeah, who did, yeah, the, yeah. did Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yeah, but Rocky and Bullwinkle was a very cool it was, I know, cartoon. It was very cool, and it was, a, it was in the right And it was an Tasha adult cartoon. I know, I know, I loved it. I loved Me too. It. But, okay. And it was banned in Canada. Really? It was so it was political. <laughs> it was never shown in Canada. Oh, well, it was wonderful. But anyway, Senator, the, the last of the, at the end of my mother's book called I Went to the Soviet Arctic, um, the, she says, I want to come back to, to Russia and go into the sea and say, Drasvidja. Did you say Drasvidja or Dosvidanya? Drasvidja. 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 And they said, look, she's a communist. Look, she wants to go back there. It's crazy. So, Pinkos. So, so, right, so exactly. Pinkos. Pinkos. Yeah, so, 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 Senator Bullwinkle stands up in front of Congress and says, this woman, she only wants to go and, oh, she's saying she wants to go take a bath. So anyway, they, they decided to pay her, which was nice, and she went on to Alaska. And, and after Alaska, she, you, you, now, you were still working for Ickes when, when you were sent for, for, when you were on the Henry Gibbons, or you went back to work for him, because she was doing, well, yes, anyway, she was still working for Ickes when she read that, that America was prepared to save a thousand refugees from Hitler. So she went to Ickes to say, tell me when I'm wrong, Mom. Tell me if I'm not telling your story right. But anyway, she no. goes, so she goes to Ickes and she says, look, look, boss, you got to send me. And, and he, I think he thought about it and immediately said, okay. But, so, but then... On Harmon Street. Street, was very worried about my mother going to Europe. So my mother said, come down and meet my boss. So she brought my grandmother, who I will tell you later was played by Anne Bancroft in the movie, which I thought was hysterical. This is, I like that very much. But anyway, so she brings my grandmother to meet Harold Ickes, and, and my grandmother goes, oh, you know, how, you're sending my daughter to Europe, you know, she can get killed, her passport isn't good enough. So Harold Ickes looks at, at my grandmother and says, don't worry, little mother. We're going to make her a general. And that's how my mother became a general. <laughs> and that way, if she's, if she's captured, they have to treat her right by the Geneva Convention. So, so this is general mom. <laughs> so Bushwick, you don't just have a mayor. You just don't have Mae West or the youngest May mayor. West. You have a general. Right. You have a general. General. <laughs> and you don't know her. Okay. But then, so my, my mother went to, went to, to Italy to interview and, and collect these thousand refugees who she brought over on the ship, the Henry Gibbons, and she's very close still to many of them. They were here, they were in a camp in Oswego, New York, and they were supposed to go back to Europe. But in the end, um, Harry Truman agreed to let them go to, to Canada and then come back as U.S. citizens. And they've, they've been... I should say, one was Ray Harding, who was head of the Liberal Party, so not my favorite person. <laughs> but, but there were a lot of wonderful people in this mix. And this particular part of my mother's life, she wrote in, up in a book called Haven. And um, Haven's been made into a musical and and, and, a, and a, um, a, 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 a CBS a, a mini series with Natasha Richardson as my mother. Now, if my mother stands up, you'll see that really Natasha Richardson may have been a bit taller. <laughs> but but anyway, she was she was wonderful. And my mother and I got 
to go. The, the, what we agreed to, what they agreed to, what when 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 um when they made the deal for the movie is my mother and I got to be extras, and we had the most wonderful time. It People was reverse. Yes, it was reverse Cinderella. They would give us clothes and like cut our, you know, tear the clothing. It was so, we were somehow the, the plane was so delayed that we actually only had two hours sleep, so we could be like method acting. We had so much fun. My mother got to I moved to England at that point, but my mother got later to even be in the street with Natasha running up. You ran up at the end, you know, when when they're allowed to stay. Ruth is one of the refugees, but Ruth and I are refugees, and. And anyway, it was it was enormous fun. It was enormous fun. And and then it was also made into the Haven was also made into a musical. It hasn't been a big I mean it's it's played a few times, but the person who played Ruth in it actually played Elphaba in Wicked. So we're all very excited by that. Too. And you can <laughs> sing the Ruth song. Right. Yeah. I really <laughs> did that later. But I like this is a little break. Yeah, maybe we maybe we should move inside. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Oh, sure.